Yes, I'm here in this Ford Fiesta and the customer's complaint is that the brakes one day didn't work so he used the handbrake apparently to just put it over and park it but so that's obviously that's honestly what I've been told so far right so I've come to the car the brake pedal is solid yeah. Let me turn the engine off. This is how you test your brakes to see if you've got a leak. Alright, so you see, I put my foot to the on the brake pedal and it goes down. It's not going to go all the way down your brake pedal. Let me turn the torch light on. Your brake pedal never goes all the way down to the ground, okay? And the more you pump that pedal, the higher up it's going to get, and the harder it's going to get to press. And see your gap has just gotten bigger. And then, when you start your engine, your brake pedal will go down, and you can keep pressing it, and it shouldn't go to the floor. Okay, and that's the gap that we've got. So I pump it up. And it, pump it, and it doesn't go to the floor. That means you don't have a leak. So in the moment, I'm trying to figure out what could have possibly happened with this Ford. Um, you know, people don't just call you out and book you for nothing. You know what I mean? So there must be something wrong with the car at the moment. It's misfiring or stuttering. Yeah. You can hear it in the exhaust. This is a good way. I also tell if your car's misfiring. Go to the exhaust. Misfires. At the moment, looking at fault not found. We're gonna take the car for a drive. But before we do that, this is underneath the engine bay. Looks like it's had a recent battery. Yeah, so we'll go for a little test drive. When you look at the tire, the tire's look a little bit bored on the edge, but it's alright. Alright, so there's a brake light that's not working. So you got brake lights, but just one brake lamp, like one brake lamp's not working, so I found something wrong with the brakes, right? It's part of the job. It's part of the job. See this bar? Come in handy again. Alright, let's go for a test drive. So the exhaust is rattling. Be careful there. The brakes are rusty. Give them a little clean up. Is it metal to metal? Is it metal to metal? Sounds a bit. Sounds metal to metal to me, but. So basically the brake pads are worn out.
they're not rusty but they're grinding like birds it's a huge select <laughs> on this car you can probably sell a headlight two front tires well not two front tires uh, on this car you sell one front tire a headlight and probably a wheel alignment um, so you got the exhaust bracket rattling as well Maybe a service as well. A set of spark plugs. Hopefully that would attack the um what am I saying? Slight misfire that it's got. It's not really affecting the performance. I'm not gonna keep driving this car to be honest. It's, it would have been nice, but basically this needs to replace the front pads and discs. Maybe a test drive a bit sooner. Would have been better. What's up, guys? I'm outside this morning and I'm doing some brakes on a Ford Fiesta as well as a quick headlight change. I'm I didn't want to jack the car up on this floor because I don't know what, what it might cost to repair. Like, this, what these guys are doing. some WD-40 there.
the funny one this one um try to remove the bumper to remove the headlight only to find out that you gotta remove the headlight to remove the bumper I'm just here to change the headlight what just gotta change the headlight mate no bumper trims taking off business involved in it wicked it would help if the bloody people sent the headlight with some bulbs in it damn as easy as that nothing absolutely nothing left me have a look at this That's how the brakes stopped working, I guess. Got there in the end. Whoa. That is amazing. I've never seen, well not never seen, I have seen, but I've never had a job where I've seen the brake pads this bad. This is the worst I've come across fixing, fixing one. I've had other mechanics next to me show me bad stuff. I've seen brake discs worn all the way through. But yo, that's crazy. And you know, like, you know, we're living in a nice area. This guy just does not care. At all. About this car. Without a fail, this caliper is stuffed as well. It won't go back. Actually, it won't go back. That's all metal from the brake pad. That's must have been sparking, man. But the caliper won't go back now. Need a new tire and a wheel alignment. <laughs>